Hello, boys and girls. Welcome back to Foundations. Today is Whiteboard Wednesday. So we're going to be getting out our whiteboards, a dry erase marker, and an eraser today. I'm going to tell you some things to write down on your board. If you don't have a board like mine, maybe you've got a piece of paper and a plastic sleeve. You can put that paper inside and you can use your marker on the plastic part. If you don't have any of these things, just use a piece of paper, that's okay. I'm going to show you the answers after we do these so that you can check your work today because this is just a practice day. So get those whiteboards ready, markers, erasers. All right, go ahead and take your cap off the back. Place it on the back and Write down the sound that you hear me say. Sometimes watching my lips will help you understand the sound I'm saying. Ready? The first sound is mmm. Mmm. Write down the letter that makes this sound. Mmm. Write down the letter or letters that you hear in this sound. Shh. Shh. Write down the letters that make this sound. Hmm. A in a. A. I'm looking for more than one letter this time. A. How does that A say its name in C? All right, let's stop and check our work. I'm going to hold up my board. Take a look at yours. All right, here is the first letter. Z. If you wrote Z, thumbs up. If you wrote S, that's okay too because we did learn that S can make a Z sound in some words. The next sound was SH. That's our digraph, S H SH. Check your work. And the last one I was looking for was the A in SAY. We need two letters to make that A say its name. That's A dash E, A. Check your work and make any changes if you need to. Okay, I'm going to erase, 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 erase your board. Erase, erase, erase your board. And now we're ready to write some words. We're gonna grab these words, we're gonna tap them, and then we're going to write down what we hear. Then we're going to mark them using all of those things we know how to mark. So let's begin. Please put your hand in the air and let's grab that word, lime, lime. Oh, lime, mm, lime. Write that word down. Once you write the word, mark it. Not any vowels, not any lines for it, silent. Not any consonant blends or diagrams. Not any suffixes, speech words. And don't forget to tell me what kind of syllable this is. Is it a closed syllable or is it a C E syllable? All right, check your work. Here we go. O I M. -E. This is how you spell it L I M E. It has one syllable, so I marked it with the one swoop. I put a V dash E to show that it's a vowel dash E consonant word, syllable word, sorry. 
I marked the I with the macron, showing it's the long I found, and I slashed the E because he's silent. All right, check your work. If you need to make any changes, do that now. Erase, and let's get ready to do our next word. Erase, erase, erase your soul. Erase, erase, erase your soul. All right, I'm gonna get ready to grab another word, tap it, and write what I hear. Let's go. Grab the word, ape, ape. 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 Oh, Write down what you heard on your whiteboard. Ape. Only those lowercase words, please. Lowercase letters. All right. Mark the vowels. How many syllables? Eight. What kind of syllable is it? Use your eraser if you make mistakes. What's the four? And when you're ready, show me your work. Does yours look like mine? A P E, one syllable, one swoop, V dash E syllable, and long A, silent P. If yours looks like mine, thumbs up. If you need to make any changes, go ahead, erase, and fix it. All right, let's sing our erasing song. Here we go. Erase, erase, erase your soul. It's time to do another word. All right, let's grab the word tide. Ready? Grab it. Tide. Tap it. Tide. 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 Let's write that down. I the tide. How many syllables? Mark those vowels. What kind of syllable is it? When you're ready, hold up your board. Does it look like my tide? T I D E, one syllable, B dash E word, long I, silent E. If you are doing great, thumbs up and fix your brain. Yes. If you're making mistakes, fix it so that your brain will remember next time. All right, let's do one more word that we're gonna grab out of the air. Erase, erase, erase your board. It's time to do another word. And this word is plants. Let's grab that word and tap it. Plants. P-O-A-N-T. Plants. Hmm, that don't have a lot of sounds. I'm going to start with the p, o, a, e, t. All right, what happened at the end? Do you remember what to do with that? A suffix. A quarter. Hmm, perfect to be a consonant blend. How am I going to mark this somewhere? Is there an E at the end? Hmm. All right, let's see how many syllables in this word. Plant. One to the end is off of our syllable. I'm going to give you a couple more seconds because we have a lot of things to do on this word. All righty. When you're ready, check your work. Plants. P o is a consonant blend. I underlined the P and the L. A makes a short sound. It gets the breath. That's the short symbol. And T, another consonant blend. I underlined the N, I underlined the T. 
the S is extra. It was added on the end. That's our suffix. It gets circled and the core word gets an underline. Now for our syllable, it's plant. One syllable, but I'm going to stop my syllable at the T and it is closed. Remember our closed syllable, short vowel, one vowel, closed in by consonant. This is a closed syllable word. All right, Whew, that was a lot on that one. I've got some trick words for you to write and a sentence. So when you're ready, let's erase, erase, erase your board, erase, erase, erase your board, and get ready to write some trick words. Do we tap trick words? No, we don't. They break rules, so oftentimes we can't even tap a trick word. They are tricky after all. Sometimes I like to write them in the air, but I'm not gonna do that this time. I want you to say it, spell it, and then say it back to yourself. That's the best way to do a trick word. The first trick word I want you to write is the word down, down. Say it. D down, spell it, and say it again. Read it back to yourself. Does it look right? Let's do one more trick word. How about the word about? About. Say it. Spell it. Say it again. Does it look right? We're not going to mark these words because they are rule breakers. That's what makes them tricky. All I want you to do is write them down. All right, when you're ready, let's share our board. Ready? One, two, three. Down. D O W N. Down. About. A B O U T. About. If that's how you spelled your words, hooray! Pat yourself on the back. If you need to make a correction, erase and fix it now so you'll remember next time. And now it's time for our sentence. So erase, erase, erase your words. Sentence time today, finish erasing, please. Clear your boards, ready? Don't forget what a sentence starts with and what it ends with. We're looking for C-U-P-S, cups. Capitalization, understanding, punctuation, and spacing and spelling to check your sentence when you're done. Here's our sentence today. Write this down. See the cave next to the lake. See. Remember what our sentence starts with. The cave. Let's tap that word. Ready? Cave. Cave. See the cave. Next to. the lake. Let's tap out the word lake. Oh, a lake. See the cave next to the lake. What did your sentence end with? All right. Give you another second or two to finish writing your sentence. Check for capitalization, understanding, and punctuation, and a finger space in between each word with correct spelling. All right, three, two, one. Show me what you got. Ready? See the cave next to the lake. S-E-E-T-H-E, 
C A B N E X T T O T H E L A K E. I started with a capital, I ended with a period, I put a space in between my words, and I checked my spelling. Good job, everyone. We'll have our quiz in our composition book tomorrow. So this will get you ready. Have a great day. Bye, guys.